Okay, right now I'm in a little town called Miren and I'm going up to this place called the Xiaohethon to see the whole Switzerland skyline. So you get to see all the big mountains and all. And this was the place where my James Bond shot its restaurant scene too. So let's go ahead and see whether it's worth it or not. Okay, right now I'm at the top of the Xiaohithon um, mountain and two things that I've realized that I'm really scared of. First is height. As you grow older, I don't know about you, but I get really, really scared. And second thing is that when people take their phone out to take pictures, I get really worried. If the phone falls, that's it. That wasn't the end of it. Now you get to do like a thrilling walk around 360 of the whole mountain. Let's see what does it have for us. It's really called a thrilling walk and you have to walk through this. Not looking down, it's very windy. And I'm not very tall, but it's like, I have to like, like this. <laughs> Quite scary if you look if you look downwards. Uh, let's go for more thrilling stuff. They are going down this transparent walk. Ah yeah, this is nothing lah. Easy. Hello, I'm at my third station of the thrill walk. So here you can see that you have to walk through this tunnel. I don't know where did I get my confidence from because I'm really afraid of heights, but maybe it's because it's now covered with clouds, you can't really see down below. So, I'm quite willing to do this. Okay, so here we go. Voila! I think I took less than like 10 seconds. <laughs> All good here. Alright, so that's the end of the thrill walk. What do you think? Together with the mountain top that you have seen just now, together with the stair walk, do you think do it's worth it to come to Switzerland? You tell me. Another day in the mountain. Right now, I'm at Kleinstreiten and I'm taking up this train up to Jungfaru to the top of Europe and you get to see the whole mountains there. So let's go according to the theme and see how ugly this place is. Hi guys, right now I'm at the plateau area of the Jung Fire region and on the right hand side it is the Jung Fire mountain, the highest peak of the whole Europe and on the left hand side is a Monarch. My problem now, uh, Ben come here a bit dizzy, so luckily I buy this uh, Thai, Thai this uh, medical oil and spell, now better, so that now a bit dizzy dizzy, caught too high. <laughs> Hi guys, right now I'm at this place called the Snow Fun Area. So here you get to sit behind, they get to go on the float down the place and get to have a lot of fun and you can go all the way back there. Obviously I'm not very well dressed for this and I'm quite like slipping around. And also feels feel dizzy, Ben is still busy. So I'm just gonna stop here and just enjoy the view here.
pardon for the lack of better place, but I'm doing my last scene here because of the hard attitude. Everything I do here needs a harder breath of air, and it's really hard to breathe here. So, what do you think? Is the John Fire Road a good place to venture around in Switzerland? It's beautiful or not? Uh, let me know. Hi guys, I'm at Lucent and I'm at this bridge with a uh, lot of stories on the top of it and also a man-made waterfall I guess. This bridge seems very old and seriously, I'm not sure if it's safe. Another day, another mountain. Today I'm at Mount Rigi and uh, it's extremely foggy weather today. Anyway, since I'm already here, I'm just gonna look around and see how we can look down at the Lucent area, part of Switzerland. Let's go, check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, look behind the view. The city of Lucent with the two lakes here. So very pretty. Now the thing about Switzerland is that their weather can be very unpredictable like anywhere else. So if you want to come to Switzerland, make sure that you check the weather out. Check the TV station to see if everything is alright before you come up. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you Ermei Shan. I'm in the town of Zurich and this is my last stop here and I'm really tired. So for the following clips, or the following seconds, it will be all be just short clips of the Zurich town. You'll be the judge whether this place is worth it to come or not.